this morning. It's like 30 degrees. We're about to make a loop in the swamp here. This cool weather's messing with my battery, so I ain't got a lot of battery. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to ease through the swamp. We'll see what we see. It's beautiful up here. I'm on a ridge. be really cool to hear a turkey gobble right now. It ain't turkey season, but it'd be cool to hear you. It's pretty, pretty. I may have to take this camera out and put it next to my body here to keep it warm so the battery will last. Alright, y'all come go with me. In case you was wondering, Right here is where they make them Keebler cookies at. This is a humongous tree. My bow is 66 inches. It's a big old giant, a swamp chestnut oak. It looks like a pig actually stayed inside that hole. It's crazy. Let's carry on. I thought I heard some pigs over here. And I came over here and I found this. He's going somewhere. So I, I may have heard a group coming through here. Because if they were out there rooting out here up now, I don't hear them. There's a big old persimmon over there. I just spotted it. scouting this time of year. If the leaves were on, I'd never saw that. Let's carry on. Alrighty now, we done bagged us a little pig right here. If you saw the hunt, I got on uh, hogs and they were they were two big hogs and one had little small pigs, too small to shoot. The other one had these grillers right here. And I was wanting to shoot the big hog that had the grillers, but uh, maybe on the video you can see she caught me. I was close, I was like 10 yards. But she caught me and turned towards me and that's a bad angle and then turned away. And I was, but she didn't really know what was going on. And so I, uh, shoot, I, I was kept trailing them and I spotted this one laying there. And he's up there and shot this pig right here. And it's, uh, 
It's, it's not a big hog by any means, but it's some, it's some good eating, and I'm tickled to get it. I'd have rather shot the, I didn't want to shoot the sow that had the small pigs, but uh, after a, a while, I, when I could figure out which was which, which belonged to which, I would have loved to have shot that bigger one, but I didn't. There's always tomorrow or next week, but we got this one. It's probably about a 40-pound pig, good eating pig. Anybody turn them down right there? They ain't ate a lot of hogs. They don't. They don't know. And plus, I'm uh, 1.7 miles from the truck, and that's a straight line. I got to zigzag some water to get out. Probably two and a quarter miles. I made a hunt in here yesterday, and probably a half a mile towards the truck, I missed a hog yesterday. And uh, a little bigger than this one. And I was saw uh, saw a hog way earlier. And uh, I guess I spooked him. I couldn't get on him. He was trapping. A lot of sign and a good hunt. Thank you, good Lord. My northern miss, that's, it attracts red hogs. That's the red pig. That's the second pig. Both of them red. And uh, I'm tickled. I'll get this, get this joker in the meat sack. It's about 12 o'clock. I started this morning at daylight. It was 30 degrees when I started, and it's warmed up. But I got my lucky jacket on today. I've, uh, I bought this jacket over 10 years ago at the dollar store. We were hunting over here, myself, John Pardue, Mr. Warren Womack, two or three other guys. And uh, John and I went to the dollar store for something. And they had these jackets in here for like, they, they didn't cost nothing, $12, $14. He bought Mr. Warren one and him one, I think. I bought two, one for me, one for John, my buddy John Buckhart, and they ended up being too small, so I kept both of them. And uh, a guy named Lewis Brookshire bought one. So, And I've seen pictures of Mr. Womack with dead deer with his, and I've killed countless animals wearing, wearing this one. This morning, here we go again. Thank you, Lord. It's uh, a blessing. Beautiful swamp. I love it. Catch y'all on the next one. Thank you for watching.